there's so many things that we're going to miss about Rachel. Tonight, the effects of bullying make another tragic mark. A 13-year-old girl took her own life over the weekend, and tonight her parents have a message for everyone. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Betsy Singer. I'm James Wilcox. It is an uncomfortable topic for many, but teen suicides due to bullying are happening at an alarming rate. ABC 6 News reporter Dietrich Nissen joins us now. And Dietrich, as we can imagine, a very difficult night for the community and for this family. You know, words can't describe the feelings of loss 13-year-old Rachel Emke's family is going through right now, James and Betsy. I just spoke with the parents a couple hours ago, and they say the most important thing to do right now is make sure bullying comes to an end. She just couldn't realize that this, this could be handled and she could get over it and move on. 13-year-old Rachel Emke's parents aren't shy to talk about their daughter. She developed into a wonderful personality. She was kind, loving, sincere help for a little girl that would have big goals, big dreams. Dreams that ended on Sunday morning and shocked her parents. Should I done this? Should I done that? Could I done this? And we're never going to know a lot of that. And, and now this is what we're left with. We're left with uh, a whole life without her. Their story is one they hope is never told again. The bullying has to stop. We want this to stop and we don't want the kids to, even the kids that were bullying, don't bully them. This has to stop now. With texting and social media becoming such a large part of young people's lives. They got to realize that that keyboard, that little finger movement from your computer has the power to kill. Rachel's grieving parents say it's important for parents to reach out to their children. It could be your daughter. If you would have asked me a week ago if it would have been mine, I never would have thought that. If Rachel's death can save another child, and somehow if we can do something, then we need to do that. We spoke with Cass and Manorville superintendent who says grief counselors have been available all day. Now funeral plans for Rachel are set for later this week and some of her friends are planning a walk against bullying for later next month. Reporting live in the Rochester newsroom, Dietrich Nissen, ABC 6 News.